Hello everyone, my name is Dan Soros and welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to download Minecraft mods. I see on a research tab on my analytics and a lot of comments sometimes too, asking me, Daniel, how do you how do you download mods from Minecraft? How do you do this for Minecraft? Don't worry, I got you covered. Getting right into it, there's actually two different types of ways to download mods from Minecraft. You have Curse Forge here, which is probably the safest way. And I get this, I have a link in the description for you. All you have to do is go to this website and then download on Overwolf or download sound. I would download on Overwolf. And it will launch this application and you do pretty much just download it here. And then it will give you a little install it right here. And then you open file. It'll give it will give you a little pop-up and then you just say yes and then it'll prompt up a little install it, installation thing. I already have it installed, so it's not gonna do anything for me, but just install it. It's it's not gonna harm you. Curse Forge is the most safest way to download Minecraft mods, right? And when you download Curse Forge, it'll prompt you up with this thing. Now you obviously obviously have to have Minecraft installed for this to be done, but it'll prompt up your little thing here. You'll kind of sign in, make a little profile, and after that, you just do create custom profile, and you can name it whatever you want. Let's do how to Curse Forge, and you can select Fra Forge, Fabric, Quilt, and Neo Forge. Now these are various different types of applications or uh, mod launchers, mod loaders. For this video, and for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do Forge because it's just the most popular. I would recommend Fabric, but there's more mods in Forge. And then you can select whatever um, mo uh, version of game you want. Keep in mind, Curse Forge is the most safest way. It doesn't have a majority of the mods. If you want to find a majority of the mods, you're going to have to go to Planet Minecraft and um, the Minecraft forums. Those are the only safe ways to find Minecraft mods from older versions. And they're kind of sketchy to get. I can make a tutorial on it, if that if you guys want to. I did find a way to get older Minecraft mods. It's just a bit sketchier um, because it, it, it links you to third party websites and that's just not always the safest thing. So um, I would recommend only staying mainly on modern versions but if you want to get onto older versions let me know in the comments and i'll definitely make a video for older versions of minecraft but for the sake of this video we're just going to stay on 1.20.4 so you can just make a create a profile here and curse forge the launcher here is so much easier it saves so much time because all you have to do after making your little profile here it completely sets up all the stuff for you and doesn't have to you don't have to do any jar loading or anything like that like that all you have to do now is just go to click this little puzzle piece button add more content you click here and it lists all the mods here for you so all you have to do is just find a mod you like so maybe jei just enough items and click install and that's it that's all you have to do and then you just install install now make sure sometimes you'll install mods that aren't compatible so make sure you download a few mods at one time and then check to make sure everything's working and then go back to install more mods because sometimes you might un uninstall a mod that isn't compatible with another mod and then you, if you install too many mods at the same time you won't know which mod is incompatible because sometimes the launcher will crash now how to find crash logs i'm not gonna be able to do it on this world because i haven't loaded it up yet but let's go to my minecraft overhaul series i can go to the three dots right here and open folder open folder will bring me about the whole menu for all the data about my world here for minecraft overhaul to find crash logs, I just go to crash reports, and I can find all the crashes. And you can tell I have a lot of crashes with this with this whole world. It, it crashes a lot sometimes. And I can go to this one, and this will list me all the details. Now, to find specific things about crash logs, it's kind of difficult. There's just a bunch of stuff in here, but usually you can kind of look through and find like a specific. It will name a specific mod. So if I look through here, maybe this mod. Okay, so for this crash log, we can tell that it has some issues with Fabric API. So it was probably a Fabric error that messed up my my loading here, and that's why it crashed. So that's kind of how you can kind of see. You just have to look for it and kind of see why it crashed, and it'll kind of it'll show you. It'll tell you if you want to read the whole thing. You can. Usually, I just kind of look for the small details. So it'll usually show you some stuff like this, where this one, I guess it was Midnight Lib that was missing, so that's why it crashed. Um, but yeah, usually it'll tell you some stuff, so you don't have to worry too much about the crash log. So that's genuinely how, that's pretty much all it is to download any mods onto Curse Forge. Once you added the mods you want to right here, all you have to do is press play. And it'll load it up if you have Minecraft installed normally, if you bought it right and everything. It'll load up the launcher right here. It'll take some time to load. Now my computer's a little bit slower, so it's gonna take a little bit of time for me. 
So here we are loading into our little world here. Now keep in mind I have installed just enough of items and mouse tweaks, just enough items probably to the little item tab on the corner side. And mouse tweaks let me use lets me use small inventory tweaks. So if I load up my game in here, you can see right on the corner side here is my just enough items installed, perfectly fine. I believe in the vanilla version you can't slide stuff like that. I don't remember though, so this is from pretty sure what Mouse Speaks does, but um, I don't really know what Mouse Speaks does to be honest. I just haven't installed them in my worlds. But yeah, so that's how you pretty much download mods onto Curse Forge. Now I'm gonna show you some other ways real quickly right now. So say you have Curse Forge installed for an older version. So let's delete this profile and let's create a new one and let's download mods for 1.9.4. And so we're just gonna name it B. And so we're going to create this profile, it's going to load all of its stuff. Now say you have a mod for 1.9.4, that's a jar specific. So how to get jar things, let's go over here and here's the Curse Forge page. Now we can go to Browse, Minecraft, and this is how you download mods the safe way and also you can do it manually. So let's say we want a uh, Skull Horde, because I actually had this mod already installed. All you have to do is go to Files, and then the three dots right here, and Download File. And this will download it manually and you'll have it over here, right here. So scroll forward right there. So all you have to do is now go over here and to do this manually, uh, say maybe a mod is, isn't working or something, maybe there's a reason why you have a manual jar mod. Uh, you press the three dots, open a folder, and you go into mods. And all you have to do is just drag your mod from over here to your from your folder over here and drag and drop and that's it and you can see it automatically pops up over here curse forge will recognize it and it'll automatically load now this version of the mod is not compatible with 1.9.4 but it'll it, it will it, so it'll probably crash but that's how you install manual mods now the reason why i showed you that is because say you have a mod from an older version of of minecraft that isn't on curse forge and you have the actual jar folder well, instead of having to install Forge off the website, you can just install Forge on Curse Forge and add the manual jar uh, mod into your Curse Forge right here. So you don't have to worry too much about having to install Forge separately. I'm going to show you how to install Forge separately, but I would not recommend it. I would just recommend doing it with Curse Forge because it's so much easier. And so to install Forge regularly, you're going to have to use the regular Minecraft launcher, which again is. Ugh. But <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's just what we're gonna have to do. So now I'm, we have over here Minecraft Forge. This is all the versions of Minecraft Forge. So we're gonna download Minecraft version Forge version uh, 1.16.5 here. We're gonna install the installer right here. So you click that. It's gonna give you a little prompt here. You just press. You can press skip, I think. Yeah. You press skip, and it's gonna download the installer here. You're gonna put keep because it's just a, it's just a jar folder. When it's done, you can go to your downloads. And over here and you can click double click on it and it'll prompt up a little message any second now here it is and you just want to install a client right here and this is all perfectly fine you just want to install a client and it'll do its little thing here once it's done it will give you this little message right here and all you have to do is press ok close your launcher and then all you have to do is reopen your launcher and that's about it to install forge again i think it's easier on curse forge but if you're having issues with curse forge this is how you do it manually so it'll load up a little bit and it'll take some time now, sometimes your your thing won't show up here. And if it doesn't, don't worry. All you have to do is go into here. You can see I actually have other versions of Forge on this already. And it'll be this one right here. So all you have to do is press play. And then it, it'll pop up as your most recently played. So you just have to kind of look for it. Um, and yeah, so that's how you install Forge for the regular version of Minecraft without the curse Forge or anything like that. That's how you do it manually. It'll take some time to load up and it'll do its little thing, but it will load and it will load as Minecraft Forge. So that way you can see FML, which is Forge Mod Loader. It's loading up perfectly fine. It's doing its little thing. Manually do download a mod for Minecraft, for regular Minecraft Forge. Let me show you that. Let me show you. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. So to do manually, like, um mod loading and stuff like that it's a little bit more difficult this is why i recommend using curse forge it's just a bit easier but all you have to do is press windows key and r so your windows key and r and it'll prompt this little thing on the side here called run i think you can also just do run and yeah you can type in run here and it'll open up the same thing and you want to type in percent app data percent and you just press okay this will get you into this menu right here which is all your little app betas and stuff press dot minecraft and you go into here, it's a bunch of your more stuff, and you go to mods, and you basically just plump your mods into this little folder. 
this is for newer versions of Minecraft. Now, older versions of Minecraft, like I said, I'll have to do a separate video on how to install older versions of Minecraft for Forge and stuff. But this is how you do it over here. Again, older versions of Minecraft are a lot more difficult, so I'd recommend using Curse Forge because it does it all for you a lot easier. But I will make a video if you guys want me to. So this is how you install. You just drag and drop like I told you earlier. So you go over here to your downloads. We find the wherever it went. It was, it was somewhere. I think I deleted it. But basically, let's say this installer right here is your mod. Drag it and drop. And that's all you have to do. Not that hard. <laughs> Again, it's just much easier using Curse Forge, but it isn't hard. It's not hard for you to do. And all you have to do after that is just run the game again, and that's all you have to do. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'm perfectly fine. I'll be answering any questions you guys have. And um, again, if you guys want to see the, these tutorials for older versions of Minecraft, I'm perfectly able to do it. Um, it's just a bit more difficult, and um, I would recommend just primarily using Curse Forge and staying with Curse Forge. But if you want manual version, uh, manual tutorials for older versions of Minecraft and how to get mods for older versions of Minecraft. I'm going to try my best to get that for you guys. So uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if this helped you guys out. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Also, like and subscribe. I forgot about that too. Thank you.